Good evening, everyone. 30 new federal hate crime charges. That's what a man who grew up in northern Kentucky now faces. That's right. If convicted, one of those charges uh, could result in the death penalty. Police say James Fields plowed into a group of protesters during a white nationalist rally last summer in Charlottesville, Virginia. Detectives say Fields killed Heather Heyer that day and injured dozens more. Fields graduated from Cooper High School in Union, then moved to Maumee near Toledo. Investigators say he drove from there to Charlottesville. Nine on your side, I-Team reporter Hillary Lake is following Fields' journey through the justice system. Those federal charges are in addition to state charges filed against Fields last year in Virginia. The Commonwealth's attorney tells me both cases will go on at the same time. The federal indictment provides more details than we've ever known about James Fields' actions during the days and hours before that deadly afternoon in Charlottesville. August 12, 2017 was an awful day for these victims their families, the Charlottesville community, and our country. Federal investigators say last August, James Fields purposefully drove his Dodge Challenger into a crowd of people protesting white supremacy. Heather Heyer was killed. Dozens were injured. Wednesday, United States Attorney Thomas Cullen laid out 30 federal civil rights charges against Fields. With respect to all 30 counts, it is alleged that Fields acted in this case because of the race, color, religion, and national origin of that crowd. It took federal investigators 10 months to put this case together, Cullen says, because they have to not only prove what Fields did, but why he did it. We have to get into somebody's head, and that takes time. And in this case, we reviewed uh, all types of evidence over uh, many long months in order to uh, meet our burden. According to the indictment, on August 11th, the day before the Unite the Right rally, Fields got a text from a family member urging him to, quote, be careful. The 20-year-old responded, quote, we're not the ones who need to be careful, and attached a photo of Adolf Hitler. Investigators also discovered Fields regularly used social media before the rally to express his support for violence against African Americans, Jewish people, and others who he perceived to be non-white. After Fields participated in the white nationalist rally, investigators say he drove his Dodge Challenger onto 4th Street in downtown Charlottesville. At the same time, the indictment says a crowd of racially and ethnically diverse people gathered at the bottom of the hill protesting discrimination. Suddenly and without any instigation or provocation or warning, he sped forward and went down 4th Street at a high rate of speed. Cullen says the federal charges send a message to the country about hate crimes. They also give the victims, including Heather Heyer, who lost her life, a voice. Fields' state trial is set to begin the Monday after Thanksgiving. A spokesman for the Department of Justice tells me the timeline for his federal trial will get set after he has his first appearance in court. That will happen sometime later this week or early next week. Hillary Lake, 9 on your side.